Hello there, it's uh, Steve here at Barwell UK Airbridge Supplies. In this video we're going to be talking about this Badger Extreme Patriot 105. A customer sent it in saying it's um, bubbling in the cup and its overall performance is not as good as it was. They have fitted a couple of new parts and uh, asked us, as I say, to have a look at it. So we'll first try the airbrush and uh, see what is happening. Uh. That's just pressing the trigger down for the air. Uh. Uh, sorry for laughing, um, the customer's got the wrong parts fitted or the uh, needle is the wrong one. This is um, the blue needle which is the 0.5. The spray regulator is for the 0.3. Um, so we'll just take it apart and see what the uh, tip is. Uh, so as I say we've got the uh, blue needle uh, which is the 0.5 the spray regulator is for the uh, 0.3 uh, and the tip is the point three. So I will grab a needle, a point three needle, and try that in it just to see if that is the problem. And for those that are wondering, the spray regulator is for the old style. The new style has threads on the end there to hold a little um, protective cap on it. So this is the older type. So we'll just uh, see if that all helps things a little. And still not. I'm not overly happy how far the uh, needle is sticking out of the airbrush. And I think because it's had the 0.5 needle in it, I'm wondering if the tip has splayed out a little because of the rock bigger size. So I shall now go and pinch or borrow a tip out of one of my airbrushes. Having now got the uh, tip out of one of my airbrushes and I am actually sitting around a foot and a half away which is uh, around uh, 40 50 centimeters away 
and looking at the holes in the tip, the one that was originally in the airbrush, the hole has been splayed open. Uh, one can only assume because the much larger needle was being pushed into it. And the one that I've taken out of my airbrush is much smaller, which is the um, size of the diameter I would expect to see. Um, but one of the things I've also noticed with taking the needle in and out there's no resistance and there should be some resistance in this area where the needle bearing is or was in this case but the needle has just fallen in and out of the airbrushes or tip it either way um, I'm assuming the needle bearing has been damaged or it's uh, disappeared and when the needle when the trigger fell out I noticed it is covered in white paint um, down the shaft and under the underside and when I look into the back end of the airbrush where the trigger fits you can see white paint in there I'm assuming that the customer had had trouble and uh, the paint had blew back and uh, yes we've got white paint along the needle tube yeah and on the uh, back lever and as I look into the back end of the airbrush there's uh, white paint and in the inside of there I'm assuming there's no needle bearing in the airbrush and again now we've taken the parts out and you can see directly in there there is quite a bit of white paint in there so I'm assuming at some point the customer had problems with it been changing the needles put the wrong needle in damaged the tip uh, on top of having the white paint coming back because I'm assuming uh, at some point the needle bearings fell out so the paints just come back down into the back of the airbrush so I'll get this airbrush cleaned up and uh, new needle bearing in fitted because it's um, an older type extreme which has the needle bearing that fits from the front not as with the newer one where it screws in from the back I'll get the needle bearing fitted and uh, test the airbrush and uh, get it back to the customer. Now that we've uh, got the uh, Extreme Patriot all cleaned up and um, got the old needle bearing out which wasn't too much of an effort but this is the first time I've seen a needle bearing actually split uh, into two. I'll try and put a picture of it um, down the uh, bottom here we've had this airbrush together once and uh, it's all working fine and everything uh, one of the issues that we did have with this airbrush which came to light after the video was turned off was the fact that the threads and not just here but on all these parts and this is becoming more and more evident on the uh, airbrushes that we have in the threads that I'm talking about is these fine threads here on the body of the airbrush and the threads on the head of the airbrush and this is becoming more and more evident on the airbrushes that we're doing lately people are saying that they're cleaning their airbrush but they never clean these threads up and so when they come to put the um, head back onto the airbrush 
they're saying they're having difficulties in getting this to tighten down and only doing it finger tight so it does become tight. This particular airbrush when it first came into us the customer did mention in a letter that he sent with it that he couldn't um, get the head to tighten down onto the tip and I've spent nearly an hour just brushing these threads out after I'd cleaned it and the same with the threads on the head although it has had a new head and then again you've got the threads inside the spray regulator that needs cleaning and the way I do it is this uh, paintbrush is very stiff and if I hold it down here and put some cleaner on it and I am talking about the Badger spray through cleaner and sit there brushing away um, the tool that I do have at home is a very stiff toothbrush so that I can just keep going backwards and forwards more often than not I've got a tray on my lap um, while I'm watching TV or whatever just brushing these threads out to get all the muck that's built up over the years out of these and um, to make them nice and smooth I also put my magnifiers on to have a look and make sure the threads are all in good condition not being crossed or damaged in any way and I normally do that before I start cleaning and uh, then when you come to fitting the airbrush back up again you can see that um, or you'll feel that the threads will run obviously a lot smoother and will tighten down with finger tight so that we don't have to use any force the same with this I will use as always a good quality cotton wool bud again dipped into the cleaner and keep brushing it, uh, rubbing it round and then again with the magnifiers check it and again with my toothbrush I can just go in and just clean it out to make sure it's all done and as I've already mentioned this is becoming more and more evident as we're talking to people about what they're seeing on the videos and it is something people don't realise so hopefully that will help you a little um, to clean in your airbrushes probably better than you normally would and as I tell everyone if I had a pound for every time someone's told me they've cleaned their airbrush uh, but it's still not working and given it to me and within less than a minute I've got it working I'll be a very rich person and uh, probably be sitting on some nice warm beach somewhere as I say I've already had this airbrush together and it is working nicely so I'll just get it cleaned up and back to the customer hope you do find these videos helpful and informative please give it a uh, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to help it grow so more and more people can find the videos and hopefully help them resolve their problems with their airbrushes thank you for watching